All right, healers, welcome back. Uh, we did end up getting quite a few uh, ability points in the last part, so since we've been saving up them up a little bit, we're going to go ahead and grab Aerial Blast here. It's the ultimate, basically, ability of uh, Garuda, which looks pretty cool. It summons a magic, nul magic nullifying tornado that slowly hunts down nearby enemies, and upon ensnaring them, inflicts multiple hits, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, we already have Flames of Rebirth, of course, unlocked, so the next one after after we get this Aerial Blast is going to be uh, Judgment Bolt. That's what we'll save up for after, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and grab Aerial Blast real fast. Pretty cool. And then also, of course, we're going to have to go ahead and equip it, so um, instead of, I guess we'll do it instead of Wicked Wheel. Um, yeah, because it's just less stars, basically, is what I would would go off of here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do Aerial Blast. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, Alright, let's uh, let's jump back into the game though. We're in Clive's Chambers. It says to visit the infirmary. Uh, we just got back in the previous part um, to the hideaway. So yeah, let's jump straight back in. Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? Like uh, there is a side quest over here, but I think I'm just going to kind of chill for now. Um, I might. Oh wow! Wait, is it really quiet for you? As well, it's really quiet for me. Oh yeah, it is super quiet. Wait, why is it so quiet? That's odd. I'm not sure, but I mean, I'll up the volume. That's perfectly fine. Oh, hold on. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's that way. Nope. That is not why. Okay, cool. Well, I guess the audio just got really quiet, so let me fix that real quick then. Sorry about that. Uh, how is that? Is that better? Let's check. And what can I do for you? Uh, it's better, but it's not perfect. I might, I might have to up the audio a little bit more or something. We'll see. We'll see if this helps at all. One purse weighing you down. All right. Uh, platinum sword. Ooh, it's actually better than what we have. I mean, I'm down. I'm down to grab it. Only 2,000 anyway. Yep, we'll go ahead and equip it and then make sure that's uh, correct. Oh, platinum belt as well. Nice. Okay, so we are getting some better uh, gear this time. That's good. Platinum cannons. That is worse than our mithril, though, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, increases limit break generation amount by 3%. But six percent. Now we're good. We're good there. Uh, consumables. No, I think we're good. Uh, let me go ahead and check out anything I can sell for now. Um, belts. I'll keep the median cross for now, um, just in case. But I don't think we'll. Uh, we probably won't use it again, to be honest. Uh, typically increases attack proficiency with each precision dodge. Not a bad idea, but at the same time, it costs a lot. I mean, it's worth a lot, so I don't know. We'll keep it for now. We might sell it in the future because it's worth a lot of money. Um, let's see. Any of this stuff I can sell real quick? Let's see. Yep, gill bug I can sell for sure. Alright, cool. That should be it. Uh, actually, no, let's do a couple of these as well. That should be fine. Actually, you know what? I'll do one more. I'll sell one more potion. We get quite a few of those. Um, let's also talk to our boy over here real quick because I want to make sure. Oh, we talked to him about uh, Drake's Breath. Nice. We can actually upgrade this too. That's good. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Um, yeah, let's do let's do Liquid Flame then, or uh, Platinum Sword rather. Um, Noise. Oh, I guess I could have maybe reinforced it. Do my best work, but it'll do. Nice. I think I screwed it up a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> we got it in the end. Uh, platinum belt. We could also make it get better. Um, I think I'll chill on it for now. I don't think we need to do that, to be honest. But I appreciate the option. Uh, yeah. Should be good there. So now do I have two platinum swords then? Is that what I is that what I accidentally did here? Let me see. <laughs> yep, I sure do. 
but uh, this one looks cooler and it's better. So yeah, let's change. Make sure the visual visual actually matches the actual sword. I think unless it looks kind of bad, but I'm sure it's probably fine. Uh, what is he? Platinum sword. Yeah, not bad. I mean, Love and Bolt does look cooler, I think, but hey, platinum's fine. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sell the other platinum sword to her because I don't need two of them. Uh, yeah, this one. I'll be thankful you got that much. All right, uh, should be set to go. Let's go ahead and head to the quest location. Actually, let me let me make sure the audio is a little bit higher in game. There we go. What is that? Keeper of the stores. Oh bother. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? Let's see the poor girls go without decent clothes. Of course not. Well, how do I... Not. How do I do I it? I don't really want to do a side quest right now, but... As long as it's, like, not leaving the hideaway, I'm fine. North Reach. Ah, okay. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. You know what? We'll go ahead and do it real fast. Uh, it shouldn't take that long, I don't think. Uh, hopefully not, at least. Alright, let's go ahead and see where it is. Oh, there's a plus icon. Okay, so yeah, right here, right? North Reach. Should be. Let's go there real fast and get this quest out of the way. We can jump back in. Them pilgers nice and chilled. Look at this place. Let's hope the draper has Hortense's cloth. Yes, let's. You better. Might I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker. Or herringbone. Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Let's hand it over. Apologies, my lord, but your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Boklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. Ah, uh, no. I it might be bandits. No, she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south. Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then. Be safe? <laughs> Better not be very far. Is it in this area? Yeah, sure it is. A little ways down there. Actually, let's just fast travel here. Might as well be a little bit, a little quicker. Uh oh, did it get raided? Looks like it. Alright, let's. Those damn birds are many! Oh, oh, maybe not. I swear. Okay. A bird. Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they're hardly damaged at all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me, I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these, are, these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but... Um, did someone from the market send you? Please, 
please, you have to help me. Oh, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection. And coin, too. Sorry, friend. But we'll be the ones taking it. Oi! Killer! It's time to collect! I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little act. Bandits! As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the handsome one, killer. Stop calling me that. Staggered. <clears throat> oh, go. There's the tornado, or whatever it was called. Got him. Enemy slain. Very nice, very nice. 60 skill points, 351 gold. Gil, whatever, ever, I mean. It's black blood, which also can be traded for Gil. And a little bit of XP. Alright, alright. You made your point. Killer my ass. Did he hurt you? No. No, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. Our shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northridge. I'll accompany you there. All right, let's go. Finish up this quest real fast and we can continue on. So, you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Farewell. See you later. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Are you sure? Sweet. Insist, it's the least we can do for the man who saved our sweet, shipment. Sweet, sweet. Alright. That's that done then. Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. Yes, let's go back to Hortense. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way. But you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry. I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. Bundle of cloth. Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Greek as ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these... You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. oh there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which... Which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. Hmm. White continental silk, rush red velvet, or black embroidered linen. I mean, I'll take the velvet, I guess. That's red. I suppose. Half a mind to give a piece to Jill. Did you know she's quite the little seamstress? Hmm? 
I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but... When my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. Oh. She's honest to goodness, Princess, then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just have that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sell her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. All right, quest complete. Nice. Oh wow, the 500 ability points there for that. Let's go. That's awesome. All right. Don't mind if I do. Now, I realized that there was a plus icon somewhere in here. Here it is. Yeah, the root of the problem. So that's probably important. Um, to be honest with you guys, probably a pretty big deal. But for now, let's just do a little bit more main quest, and then uh, we'll kind of look how uh, I don't know. See how we feel from there. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. Maybe you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or... Would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. In here. Good old Gav. <laughs> What's wrong? <clears throat> Those areas under attack. What? What? Uh oh. This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosalith. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid, but as long as it's left to fester, our wild will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home get 
gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kunka must die. Finally, let's do it. I've lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. Heck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking you. about. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. Probably. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. I just wanted to double check if there's anything out there that's new. I don't think so. Don't think so, though. All right, let's uh, continue on. Talk with Otto real quick, and then I'll probably wrap up the episode there. Um, I wanted to get to more stuff in this episode, but the little side quest took a little bit more time than I thought it would. Uh, that's okay, though. No worries. I'll give you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmex to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them all to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. All right. Stood. Sounds good. Let's talk to her then, real quick. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now. Where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt. We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? Woe there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. That's why we're here. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kuka. Nice. Or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmechian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kuka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. 
the Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buick Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The North. They cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move <laughs> on then. Oh, will you be going too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to meet him then. Make for Rosalith. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. And we will head to Rosalith and see if we can find him in the next uh, Koopka or whatever in the next episode. All right. See you later. Peace.